Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. I'm, I'm the proud owner of the Citroen Ami Vibe. I've had it for just coming up to four weeks and uh, I've done 333 miles. I actually love the vehicle for what I do coming to and from work. As you can see here, I can park virtually um, in our kind of drive the width of the pavement in the morning normally or at night like now if I'm in my Range Rover or something I'm sticking out in the road people won't wait a second and they just they're, they're bibbing you shaking the fist and all sorts so this this Ami is brilliant I'm not in anybody's way I might be now but as you can see nobody nobody will stop for a second to let you out and they're just in a big queue so it's with regret that uh, I am going to have to reject this car or this quadricycle. I am. The main reason is that uh, I've, I've just had the I've just had it ceramic coated. The car looks lovely. Um, I had discovered a fault before I had it ceramic coating. There's a crack in this door, and there's a few white marks, which looks like look like stress mark, marks, stress points as if the panels, the door's been flexing and uh, I had so much planned for the vehicle for my YouTube channel I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm also going to stop and I'm going to put the blind I've fitted the blinds, the mirror, the sun visors I'm just going to put the sun visors sorry, the, the sun blind across because at the moment it's very very warm the sun's just come out and my gopros will overheat so i don't want them to do that so the the marks on the doors on just one door which if it was on both doors i probably wouldn't be so worried but uh, it's just one door and the car's not been bumped it's never been near another car. I've been in it all the time. I park miles away from anybody else. It's got its own spot at the garage. So it's, it's not like it's been bumped. I've not shut the door on anything. I've not trapped anything. I've not banged anything. I've, I've not gone down a big pothole, although there are potholes in Preston. It just looks like it's flexing. I don't know, I can't be sure, but I've, I've got or had collaborations planned. Today I was supposed to be fitting a car lock device to it. And of course I don't want to do that because um, at least just Citroen at Preston, they, they've had a look at it and they're putting a warranty claim in for the door. But if it has a new door on it, if that's not the end of it, I've also got Wabasto has sent me a heater to fit to it because it, in all honesty it's great on days like this it's great on cool days but when it is raining you can get by but it's not ideal it really isn't ideal it's not the conditions that I would like to drive in all the time feel safe driving in or knowing full well that I can see everything that's going on around me like I should be able to do. The Wabasto heater is on a, it's a timer and you can also use it as a remote and it's way, way more than this little army needs. It's overkill, which is basically the way I do everything. Overkill. Um, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, very sad to be honest. 
because I've got uh, I've got a Bluetooth radio for it to go in. Um, a few other things. I plan to have leather seats, proper leather, uh, custom-made seats put in. A headlining, all that sort of stuff. Um, a leisure battery to power other stuff and uh, perhaps even a heated windscreen. I've, I've had talks about getting a heated windscreen fitted and uh, I feel sorry that I'm going to let these people down but if I don't, if I persevere with this Ami and it gets worse and worse it's going to end up with thousands of pounds worth of stuff fitted to it and me not having a vehicle that's fit to use really um, again something that worries me is that um, I was going to get it wrapped as it happens the the Citroen Vibe when I've actually seen it in the flesh I, I quite like it but I didn't in the brochure to me it looked like a kid had drawn on it and uh, anyway it's grown on me but say for instance I just spent a thousand pounds having it wrapped and then I got this problem with the door and the wrap started creasing or coming off it just you know it, it would be negligent of me to carry on I think so with and, I, and I'm sure you can tell that I, I'm gutted I really am because you, you see here I'm going home it's Saturday afternoon I'm going home I can't go any faster than I'm going now it's just it's ideal for Preston for driving around Preston it's perfect for this traffic it's perfect for me getting home the other night the traffic was so bad that I had to park at my girlfriend's, leave my, I was in a Range Rover, I left my Range Rover at my girlfriend's house and then walked, carrying this camera bag here, which weighs a ton, fortunately it's got wheels on, and I walked a mile and a bit to get home and then walked a mile and a bit the next day to, to go and pick it up again, to go to work. So Preston's not, not ideal for a big car. I've had people today saying, uh, Oh, you, you should get you should get a, a better car you know uh, it'd be more expensive but I don't want a better car I've I don't like EVs I think EVs should be like this um, very very basic they should be designed to get you from A to B round town and then if you've got to go anywhere else get yourself a petrol or diesel EVs won't beat them in my opinion so people have been saying to me uh, you know you, you should you should get a better EV. I don't want one. If you want to save the planet, don't go and buy an EV. Don't go telling me that you're trying to save the planet. You are actually trying to save money. That's all you're interested in because every time anybody says anything, every time anybody has a, a discussion with me on, on uh, YouTube or, or Twitter, the first thing they say, it, oh, it only cost me 10p to charge, 20p to charge yes but your car has depreciated by two thousand pounds last month and do you know how much petrol you can get with that one chap said to me today but how many children has the, the petrol fumes killed well none because i'm just trying to use the petrol as a currency to make people realize that their car depreciated their car shouldn't have been built because it's not saved anything because it's not actually overtaken a petrol car yet um, in greenness <laughs> you know one a Porsche Taycan I worked out that in the amount it's depreciated in three months you could drive to the moon <laughs> 245,000 miles in a, in a diesel I think I might have worked it out as a Range Rover but even if it wasn't, if it was a, a car that's supposed to do 50 miles, you could drive to the moon. That isn't saving the planet. Having an EV with electric windows, two screens that, that 
makes noises like a whoopee cushion that when you sit in it, that does things like flips the doors open. That's not saving the planet, that's wasting money. How many people want to see a roaring fire on a screen in an EV? When has that ever been a thing? How many people want to program a certain code into the, the key fob and the, the doors will go up and the, and the indicators flash and the lights come on it's like, like the car does a dance. Who wants to do that? Who wants to be able to control everything in the car with an app? I can't even control my GoPros with the app. The app went off completely yesterday and I've had to delete all of them and you've seen how many I've got, reload the app and pair each individual camera to the, so imagine that with your car. You, you know, you just want it. So this EV is the EV for me. I think it's the EV for everybody. All going around town, 28 miles an hour, no need for speed limits, no need for speed bumps, which is, who knows, that might be what's caused this. Um, you, it, absolutely perfect for that. I, I'm really, really so disappointed. And as, as I say, this is one of those vlogs where the thumbnail is, would normally be somebody going, you know, like sad face, look what's happened to me. I'm disappointed, love the car, um, but it can't fit into my plans now. Just, I mean, even having the door done, that's cut me up, because it, it, it'd probably be ages. So even swapping the door, I've, I've had it ceramic coated. Lance spent a day ceramic coating it. We've used a uh, hundred quids of the materials to have it done properly in, in Lance's time and doing it, bearing in mind he had to wash it, use a, um, pre-wash muck off to get those streaks off that they all come with from the factory um, you know all, all that to, to put this ceramic coating on probably 450 quid worth of work the the, the parts uh, setting up a forum setting up a, a YouTube channel especially for it and uh, and, and for that to be, for that to be, oh dear, I, I'm, I'm right on the, uh, right on the thing here. I didn't see that through the roof. It's a wonder they're not cursing, but they very kindly they like me car. Yeah, so <laughs> it is with a heavy heart. And the, and the other thing is, I'd also actually, I, I go on a, on on this forum about not publicizing other cars I think this is brilliant but I also ages ago just shortly after I ordered this I hoped this would be perfect I hoped it would come in December but I also ordered or put a deposit down on a silence so4 um, and if this wasn't perfect I was going to get a silence EV got a few more gadgets on it and so on a battery that you pull out which is ridiculous nobody's going to pull it out I'm certainly not going to carry it two flights of stairs to to my uh, apartment to charge it that that's that's just ludicrous but that was there that was the backup if if this was no good it was supposed to come in December it didn't my silence was supposed to come in May uh, next month and uh, I would have had nearly six months living with the AMI before I made the decision about, the, the, you know, the SO4. My, my decision now, I know this car would be perfect for me. Uh, this quadricycle would be perfect for me. It's all I need. Um, one, if I could sort the heating out, if you could sort the heating out with a heating issue out, the, deep, the misting issue, Somebody asked me if the water drips from the, the sunroof because there's condensation on it. 
So far, I haven't seen any. Um, but I dare say in the summer when it's, sorry, in the winter, mind you, it's icy here in the summer. In the winter when it's icy, then uh, there will be drips. I used to get it in my sports car. Nothing you can do about it. With the preheater that I'm, I'm going to fit, that would be perfect. Um, you know, just a leather. There's got to be some compromises to saving the planet um, without going daft. This is perfect urban transport. I think the stress marks, if they are stress marks, I don't think they're not they're totally Citroen's fault. In fact, they're probably not Citroen's fault. I would more blame Preston Council for the roads here, which are disgraceful. The whole setup in Preston is disgraceful. The council charge so much rent. This is the town centre here. They charge everybody so much, sorry, so much rates that shops can't afford to keep going. And all the, what used to be a thriving main street is now mostly charity shops. And look, this has just been done. It's not long been finished. It's a pedestrian walkway and for cars. Look at it already. I mean, here, I can't avoid, there's a, there's a manhole cover there and then there's a big pothole. I can't avoid both. So, if Citroen do take the car back, I can only hope that they sue Preston Council. Because unfortunately, as I see it at the moment, this car isn't fit for purpose. And I do say that re with regret, but my purpose is to drive around Preston. Is that Citroen's problem that I live in a... I don't know, to, I, I don't know how to say this without swearing. But if I was allowed to drive up the cycle lanes, they're like billiard tables. You see there, they've just put two cycle lanes in, in up there. They've put a cycle roundabout here. We've been uh, trying to get out, out of here now for eight months, I think it is, with temporary traffic lights that you can't get through in the morning. They're always failing so the cyclists can get round. And then what do they do? They don't use them. They go in the road. They go through the red lights in front of you and uh, just cock the whole job up again. This is my route home. That person there is on the wrong side of the road coming up. The other night, coming out here, I had to reverse back, go home, park my car up and walk because nobody could get this way. They were blocked up to that traffic lights and all cars coming out here were blocked up. <laughs> so I'm sorry but I have informed them that I want to reject this I'm trying not to be an arse about it I'm, I'm I'm not doing it to be a pain. I'm not doing it for clicks, likes, YouTube views. Um, it's uh, <laughs> it's not good. And um, thanks for watching. And uh, well, I'll, I was going to say I'll see you in the next video, but. I don't know whether it'll be a video in an AMI. It's, uh, it, I might just go back to my other channel, reviewing our cars and reviewing gadgets that people send to me. 
the one good thing you can avoid the speed bumps here so that's it I am gutted <laughs> um, don't let it put you off buying one of these because I, I, I do think they are tremendous and um, I hope you have better luck with yours than I have with mine. There you go, look at that. How easy to park is that? Barry Crampton and Crockett over and out. Thanks for watching again. Bye-bye.